But I know when I first came here in 2006, where I'm standing, this was covered in ice here, or you know, a one or two meter thick of ice. The Coquitlam Glacier is nestled on its deathbed. It's more than 1,400 meters high in elevation, far above the Coquitlam watershed. This glacier is the last one standing among a number that formed centuries ago in Metro Vancouver. Today, during the warmer seasons, the runoff provides about 2% of the water in the Coquitlam Reservoir. But that won't be the case for much longer. This ice is thinning and it's going to decay fairly rapidly. It's one of our best climate indicators of change. And uh, I don't expect this glacier to last past 2050, really. We found the glacier glistening under 20 degree heat because of unusual summer-like conditions in two October. From above, the warning signs are everywhere. The water levels visibly low, the cedars reddening and a stripe of gray smoke stretching across the sky from the wildfire burning at Manning Park. Scientists are here to measure how fast the glacier is melting using LIDAR technology. Those markers were the edge of the snow. Oh, the, okay, and that's how so much it's dropped. So in two weeks, eh? it's dropped and receded yeah. that much. Wow. The ice has actually dropped two to even five meters in just two weeks. Uh, a lot of that is seasonal snow melt at the top of the glacier but it's certainly struggling in these warm and dry conditions. Roughly 200 years ago, during the Little Ice Age, the glacier used to spread past where the point I'm standing to near the edge of that valley. And it used to be way higher, but now it's been reduced to running water during this time of year when it's not snowing. This is a heavier downstream flow than usual at this time of year, courtesy of the warmer weather. But much of this water will soak into the ground before making it to the rivers. And the water that does make it to the reservoir is not enough to replenish it. But it's something. And with these glaciers disappearing, that source of water is then gone. Once the glacier is gone, Marshall says the Coquitlam Reservoir will rely primarily on rainfall. And we know our precipitation patterns are changing with climate change. All factors going into long-term water planning. So I think it's important to, to look at this realize how quickly these resources are disappearing. And this is you know, a sign of what's happening elsewhere in North America for sure, but around the world. Uh, and think about how we can conserve our water, our drinking water, uh, as we move into the future. It, it's an endangered species, right? And uh, it's an iconic image of you know, what's happening in, in the region. At this point, there's no stopping the Coquitlam Glacier's death spiral. What's left of it serves as a stark reminder of challenging times ahead, pushing humanity into uncharted waters. Ali Patarga, CBC News, Vancouver.